Now the problem today we need to detect if there's a cycle present in a linked list or not. That's a really easy one. It, if you study linked list, this is like the third or the fourth question that they teach. So what we are going to use here is we are going to use two pointer approach. How this works is I first uh, I need to check if my head is null. If this is true, my head is null then i need to return false else if it's not what i want to do is i want to list node uh, first i'll name it slow it will be equal to my head next i'll name it fast and it would be equal to my head dot next i'll explain you what this code does in a second now i'll run a loop while my slow is not equal to my fast not false my fast and in that what I need to check if at any point my fast is equal to null or my fasts next why we are checking for the next is also you will get to know in a second is equal to null I'll return false F A L C false then what I want to do is I want my slow to be equal to slow dot next since this is the slow pointer this will move one step at a time and my fast pointer to be equal to uh, my fast dot next this would be the same speed we won't we don't want the same speed we want a higher speed so this would move two steps at a time instead of one that's why we were checking for this condition because if this is null uh, we won't be able to access this next element and this will give us another pointer error so if this is null we need to return false there then uh, this happens done now what we need to do is simply need to return true if they we are out of this loop so when will be when will we be out of this loop when this is not equal when this slow is equal equals to fast and i'll let you know what's happening in a second let me run this what's the issue there okay i didn't use double equals to that done and true and let's submit and see and there's also a trick uh, solution of o and this takes uh, time complexity in this is a bit complex uh, but I, I have no idea about the time complexity okay let's come back to the problem so uh, this is 320 minus 4 let's take this uh, 320 and minus 4 so what happens is after minus 4 there is again 3 2 0 ok uh, let's just keep them in the next line ok now what happens is my slow pointer is at 3 right now and my fast pointer is at 2 since none of these conditions are true we move on now my slow pointer is at 2 in the next iteration and my fast pointer is at minus 4 and again none of these condition is true as my fast pointers next is 3 so we again move on now my fast pointer is at 2 and my slow pointer is at 0 again let's come back let's delete this now my fast pointer is at 2 my slow is at 0 nothing happens again my slow is at minus 4 and my fast is also at minus 4 this so this condition is false here because they both are equal and hence we come out of the loop and return true there is a loop and that is really it for this question and the trick solution was uh, you can see the time complexity uh, I mean uh, yeah we can do that uh, you can see there is a constraint here uh, of 10 to the power 4 so if we run a while loop for 10 to the power 4 let me do that and I'll explain you what's happening there and that and that and that okay comment it out no uh, I'll declare my int n equals to 10 and I need it to be 4 times okay is, is that it uh, yeah I believe so then what I need is I need a for loop for int i equals to 0 we will be starting with 0 less than n a less than equal to n let's do that and uh, i plus plus 
now what we are going to do in this loop is uh, we are checking if my head equal equals to null at any point then return false if not um, then my head dot should be equal to my head dot next and that is really it and now let's run this loop for this true and let's submit this code and let's see if it's accepted it's accepted and there we go so what we are doing is we know the limit of our list is only 10 to the power 4 so what we are doing doing is we are learning running this loop for 10 to the power 4 times and each time we are checking if my head is equal to null or not so if the list is uh, not a cycle one it's a linear one then it will end somewhere otherwise uh, for example this list will go on go on go on go on go on go on forever so hence it returns true and that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching